yes guys welcome back to the channel how are we all doing welcome to another video i hope you're all doing all right so again it's a bit of an update video but this is life for this car at the minute and just the way life is in general everyone's got their updates usually on cod probably about 60 gig and take you three weeks depending on your internet connection but yeah boys we've had some work done to the car it was necessary work it's not modding work it's just basically it's health work for the car so I found myself on a pretty space. Ooh, it's his car park. So I'll have a walk around the car and just let you know what's been done. I will put some pictures in for you boys, 100%. Show you what work's been done. Shout out to the guy who's done it, Ben Taylor. Absolutely smashed it out of the park on his Saturday off. Um, so we have now no smoke coming out of the back of the car. Boom, stem seals are done. They're in and they're fitted. We've also had the new timing belt put on, new full timing kit basically, belt tensioners and new water pump. So again, it's just basically for the health of your running of the car. I don't know. I don't know when the last time this car had its timing belt done or water pump changed or out going on with it really. So safe than sorry, whilst you've got the belt off and you're doing the seals, it's always good knowledge with these cars. Get your timing belt sorted out, get that in with the kit. And throw it in basically uh, we had to put i ordered an ebay actuator for it because the one that i had started giving me that chicken noise that actually a lot of people tend to fucking buzz off when they hear it but it's for me it's never a good sign for your car especially these z20s sounds like a chicken being strangled or something everyone thinks it's what do, 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 some jdm shape now mate you drive a fox or bro Something's broke. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd have a drive down here, park up, walk you through it. I'm gonna put some shots on. Yo, it is sweating buckets out here, boys, man. Honest to God, it is thought. So, yeah, quick correction there on myself, bro, while I switched my camera off. Someone was trying to tell me up. It weren't the actuator that I replaced with an eBay one, let's be straight. It was the reset valve down there, somewhere. Y'all know where they are on here. So, yeah, we've changed the reset valve. Ben threw that in for me, nice one. Did a little... Uh, Jigging about with the aircon pump or something like that, mate. Moved it out of the way so it was easier to get in and change it because they are in a pretty bad place. Um, the research valves on the Z20s just being put there to be an absolute. So yeah, we've not smoking now, which is great because when I'm in the queue anywhere or I get a set, if I get a set of traffic lights and there's two cars there, I know I'm trailing smoke. I've literally been begging lights to go on green before three quarters of a mile before they get there. It's not a nice way to drive, you're not enjoying your driving. Start thinking your car's a bag of shit. Um, I'm just happy now, absolutely over the moon that they, uh, the issues have been sorted. Now, on to the next bit, what Ben's actually seen whilst we've been there. So when Ben's been doing the car, um, he's done a pressure check on the engine and he's just had a little look round all the vat pipes and whatnot. So, let's have a little nosy at what Ben has seen, boys. Let's go. I mean, do all this in one take, me lads. We're not messing about here. So, he's noticed, don't know if you can see this pipe here, which is going to be centre of the screen. So this pipe here, that looks like it goes into the firewall. That's the servo pipe, ser server pipe, service? Boys, you will let me know in the comments. That pipe there's got a few splits in it, which can affect boost, because apparently it has all the boost PSI, there, 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 but why did that in it? 
So that then it tells you you could be losing boost through there. The obvious boost problems usually come off your connectors and your T pieces and stuff. You can see here, it's got running around here. He says he has seen a couple of splits in this, so we need to get some vat line, vat pipe, and then obviously just replace that and see if that helps out with uh, the running of the car. Because it does seem to boost, seems to boost well down low, but the higher up the rev range you get, it seems like it's lacking that little bit of PSI that it needs. Maybe it's the loss of boost from them pipes that he's noticed. So yeah, again, just another little elf check that he's done on the car. Just a mechanic's own instinct, really, isn't it? Just to look around the car whilst you're doing stuff and then let people know, yeah, this could be wrong, that could be wrong. So it's a good sign of a good mechanic, that. So yeah, I was happy to find out something that should be easily noticeable by me. I never noticed it, but Ben spotted it and he let me know. So yeah, I'm just dead happy, boys, that I've not got smoke coming out the back of my car. It's mad. I think that's zoomed in, you know. What we saying here? Are you zooming out there? I thought, wow, I can't get my head on camera. No wonder it was zoomed in. Anyway, so yeah, just a little update on the car. The car's now had its stem seals done. It's had its timing kit replaced. Reset valve replaced. And, oh wow, yeah, what else did you see? One minute. So, I had a noise on startup that was annoying me. And it's still there. Because what he's noticed is, check this out. You shouldn't be seeing no chain there, boys. Well, I don't know what my phone's doing here. Manual frequent, manual focus, come on. See that there? So that's the back end of the timing case. It's obviously cracked. So it's showing. Yeah, so that there. I think there was a bolt missing out of one of these, the cases or something. I think there was a bolt missing out of that. So I think when you tied the two down, I think it was pushing it in, so it was kind of, this was kind of rubbing on the actual pulley, if you get me. So I need a new front and back timing case covers. It's bits of plastic, really. But again, if it's pushing into something or it's touching something, it can give you false ideas as to you having issues you might not necessarily have. So either started it up, hand on the side of the, the plastic casing, and it went away. So yeah, basically, it's just a bit snapped off of plastic and stuff. So, boom, I have to sort them out soon. So yeah, just a quick update. I don't keep, keep saying update and I keep saying this, but it is what it is. We're going through the daily motions of having a car. It's as simple as that really, isn't it? Boom. Daily motions of having a car. This is just what your general day-to-day -day life is. Running into problems, little issues, figuring it out, finding these solutions and getting it done in the best way possible, preferably the cheapest way possible. So yeah. Massive respect there to Ben and the boys down there. She's looking clean today. We are 30 degrees. That is a bit of an angle. Yeah. So, short video, boys. POV in my head. Hope you're doing all right. So hopefully, well, next time I get out in the car now, go start doing some meets, doing a little bit of driving, a little bit more safe and secure and the knowledge that the car might actually fucking make it to where I want to go. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're buzzing for me that we don't have no smoke coming out of the back. And maybe the next video I might do a little POV now I can trust it a bit more. And just go and smoke it about a little bit, see what happens, see how she's see how she's running. But yeah, thanks for watching the boys. I will catch you in the next one. And hopefully I'll try and make it a bit more exciting next time. And in the next one I'll put a, I'll put an update in on the turbo kit that we've got from Max Speeding Rods. Because I need to make a decision on what I'm doing with that. So yes, boys, it's been emotional. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.